The award-winning Chow Chung Yi Academy sits on a hillside in Kowloon, Hong Kong. Hi! Hi Josh! How are you? Good, Good to see to, you. Yeah, welcome to JTIA. With a long history that's seen many changes over the decades, the Academy is a unique place that honors culture and heritage, in part through the work of one of Hong Kong's most well-known scholars, Professor Chow Chung Yi. When we first launched this project, we were hoping to promote cultural heritage. But the government thought, you know, since Professor Zhao Zhongyi is one of our um, directors, and he is also, a, you know, he did a lot of research, and he covered 13 topics. Everything was, he learned everything on his own. It was not taught. Um, he was actually one of the, well, I think he's the first and will be the last professors who was recruited by the universities um, of Hong Kong and the Chinese University without a university degree because everything he did, all this research on his own. So the government um, sort of invited us to, why don't you name this project in his honor? So that's what we did. And that's why this place is named the Zhao Zhong Yi Academy. So Kiki, can you tell me a bit about this place before it became the Chow Chung Yi Academy? Wow, it's, it's a very interesting place and this is one of the reasons why this place was selected as uh, one of the revitalization of historic buildings um, partnership program with the government. It's because of its very long history. It actually manifests the, um, the development of Hong Kong. Um, we can trace back its history back to 130 years ago when this place was a custom station of the Qing Dynasty. That was even before the new territories part was um, given to the uh, British. This place was, um, it, it's like a front, a border front, um, where imports came in and they take tax. Imports like um, opium and medicine, that sort of thing. And then after it became a um, custom station, um, this place was purchased by a British company to accommodate laborers on transit from China to South Africa. These are hard work laborers. Um, it was very sad time because um, you know even the back in South Africa, even the local Africans find that work too hard, and that's why they have to import laborers. So you can imagine the kind of con working conditions and things. Um, didn't, that didn't last too long. Um, so later on, the government repurchased this place back as a prison because the Victorian prison in the, on the Hong Kong Island um, was full, so they need a new place. After it became a prison, um, there was in infectious disease around in Hong Kong, so this place became a infectious disease hospital because of its relatively isolated, um, you know, from, from the urban area back then. Um, and then it, as the Hong Kong economy took off, people become more nervous. They convert this place as a psychiatric hospital because they need, you know, place to accommodate people with, um, I don't know, depression, that sort of um, psychiatric problem. Um, and then uh, this place was now, it's now transformed into a cultural landmark to promote culture. Yeah, it's about, yeah, it's it's about like, you get something. Yeah, yeah. have this one. It, this, this is you, that's Bat Min Leng Long. That means you're smart, you know, oh, wow. all face on all directions. <laughs> we actually change its purpose. It's transformed its purpose from time to time to suit the need of Hong Kong. And it actually reflects the development of Hong Kong. Yeah. Thank you, thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a pleasure. A beautiful place with lots of character, the Chow Chung Yi Academy is a great location to visit for its exhibits, workshops, restaurants, and if you're interested in spending the night on the grounds, the guest rooms at the Heritage Lodge are also available to all visitors. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Seeing Sights. Safe travels. We'll see you next time.